The first TV from my childhood was an RCA from the 1980s, and it looks something like this one. Look at it, furnished with wood, and the picture quality was so bad, but yet that's all we knew back then, and it was great. Ninja Turtles, anyone? Anyway, today, TVs are absolutely incredible, with 4K resolution and connection to the internet. And looking ahead, Samsung unveiled a TV that will shape the future of TVs at the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show. According to Dave Das, Senior Vice President at Samsung Electronics America, Samsung is working to redefine the possibilities of television and let you do what couldn't be done before. And in my opinion, Samsung did just that with their new TV. They call it The Wall, which they claim is the first modular TV for consumers. And it's huge, measuring 146 inches. The wall is made up of bezel-less micro-LED modules that can be arranged in clusters to make different sizes and shapes. And according to Samsung, they will fit together seamlessly and it will be difficult to tell where the TV ends and the wall begins. Look at that picture mode. Man, where is the hot chocolate? Art mode? Okay. But that TV mode? Man, do I want to play Forza on the wall? That would be incredible. Alright, back to the TV. Each micro LED module measures 9.3 inches and as they are clustered together, the TV will maintain its picture quality no matter how big the configuration gets. Micro LED is an emerging flat panel display technology that consists of arrays of microscopic light emitting diodes or LEDs that form individual pixel elements. Take a look at this picture provided by Samsung. The module on the left is a conventional LED display and the micro LED is on the right. You can see how much smaller the pixels are with the micro LED. And this allows for a much more vivid and detailed picture. The micro LED modules are smaller than ever before with each chip incorporating RGB color. And this removes the need for color filters and allowing for brighter hues of white, darker shades of black, and the truest natural colors yet. In other words, this TV is awesome sauce. But before you get too excited, John Archer from Forbes.com pointed out some flaws. Archer did point out positive things about the wall. He wrote, This monstrous concoction also dazzles your eyes with unfeasible amounts of whole screen brightness, blazing rich colors that make every other screen on Samsung's stand look drab by comparison. He also acknowledged that Samsung did a great job minimizing seams between the micro LED modules, but he said that the seams are still noticeable where the picture is dark. Another thing he pointed out is that the module screens weren't evenly finished. I'm not sure if that means that the modules weren't flushed together or what, but he said he could slightly see external light from the room reflecting off the different modules. Alright, but these minor flaws aside, the wall looks absolutely awesome, and it looks like the future. I can see TVs like these in our homes one day, but unfortunately it will be a long time until a TV like this is affordable. David Katzmeyer of CNET estimates the price to be around $100,000. Wow. A Samsung representative confirmed the TV will hit the market in a range of different sizes later this year, so we'll find out what the price is then. Alright, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and see you on our next journey.